All right, let's welcome on our next team showing off their robot here. That is Air 4118-21180. Welcome in, uh, everybody, and uh, can't wait to see more about your robot. We saw a lot of uh, uh, drone shooting earlier from your team as well, too. I know we did a video on that and a YouTube short as well. Uh, so let's showcase your robot. Tell us more about it. This video on fun is made possible by viewers like you and also the following. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. My name's Lenny. My name's Steven. Uh, my name's Arjun. My name's Ryan. I'm Michael. So, uh... I was doing the autonomous. We started with a camera, which would help us detect where the prop where our prop was, or alternatively a white pixel in the uh, spike tape. So um, we started. We well, we were working on a very simple autonomous, with just um, just to place the purple pixel onto the correct spike tape. We also experimented with the placement of the camera and finally decided on placing it on the middle of the side, which, if you can't see, is, um, sorry. Yeah, just turn it. Uh, right there. This is the camera. All right, we also have several issues, like eliminating noise from our color detection and image. So we'll have to work on those later. Uh, so for teleop, we just plan on getting as many pixels as possible on the board. So far, our arm is not able to extend too high up on the board, but we plan on fixing that with a linear slide. Um, so far, the claw is pretty decent at collecting pixels and placing them, but we do sometimes have a bit of trouble like that. And for endgame, we plan on using our launch system, which is similar to using a rubber band with your hand and shooting the rubber band, except we're shooting a drone. Uh, and then after that, we might have an, a few more pixels on the board, and we'll just park it on the uh, field. I don't think we can. Yeah, our rubber band is not. Um, set up for shooting right now. Well, you know, can you describe a little bit more uh, what you actually do have when you're going shooting? So we have this lever that has a small hook on it, which is where the rubber band will attach to. And then in front of that um, hook, we'll have our drone, as like that. And we will have a, a mapped button on our controller, which doesn't work right now. Um, but it will... Um, put the uh, switch the lever down and which it will release the rubber band and the drone so yeah like that and sure and so far we uh, we've only been able to get 10 or 20 points and uh, if we ever got 30 points it would be by luck or interference Well, while we reset that, I know we have a couple of questions coming in. Let's grab a couple of those. We'll give you guys a minute to uh, reset it if you want. All right. Cat plus Harry asks, do you think there's a way the clock can pick up more than one pixel? We have been discussing that for, like, the entirety of the 30-hour build. And um, we've tried that a bit, but we haven't really figured out how we can, like, place them down on the board or use them in any game benefit. All right, Fallen Wizard 630 asks, what has been the biggest difficulty in the Robot in 30 Hours challenge so far? Yeah, so our biggest problem right now is that a lot of the a lot of the end game stuff, like we want to be able to suspend our bot on one of these, but it's been kind of difficult for us. We set up a hook right next to the claw 
but our DC motor right now is not powerful enough to lift the entire bot, and we're definitely going to work on that in the future. Not Paid Guitarist Gamer asks, what does your robot do in Autonomous? Uh, so right now we have a very simple Autonomous program. It's just to um identify which tape the, or I mean, our prop is resting on, and placed a purple pixel there, and we plan on adding more in the future. Sure, but... It, well, it takes a lot of adjusting right now. Is there anything else, before we get to more questions, is there anything else you guys want to get to on the robot? All right, AdBB asks, are you going to use a turret on the claw? So I don't think we plan on using a turret on the claw, but we definitely will later add on a linear slide so we can definitely reach up to the higher levels of the backstage. Because as of right now, we can only hit probably the first section of the backstage as of right now. So we're going to start to wrap up at teams as we have many more to go. Something I want to ask you guys is, as you're looking at uh, competing in the center stage game, is this the type of robot you think you'll move forward with, or what other ideas might you have uh, for your first competition coming up? I think we'll definitely, I don't think this is, this is for just like a starter for us for the season as of right now. But I definitely think we'll add way more um, things onto our robot in order to score more points and get more consistent in scoring those points. Great. Well, Air 418, uh, good luck this year. A great demonstration as we've seen. Uh, you can see a couple other videos on Fun's YouTube channel right now as well, too, so make sure you check that out. Let's give Air 418 a big round of applause for an awesome robot in 30 hours build. <laughs> this video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.